Hello, this is Chris with CricketUsers.com. Uh, we're looking at a CDMA iPhone 4 and using DFS's CDMA tool to program it. It this is a voiceover of a uh, a video. Uh, I'm in the port manager. I uh, got there by clicking ports. Uh, click determine Apple device, and then it'll try to find the port that your iPhone is on. Uh, it's connected to the same subnet as the desktop 192.168.0 and then its actual uh, the different portion or octet of the subnet mask. It's also connected to this desktop via USB. Uh, we have iTunes installed so the drivers are installed. Looking at the DFS log uh, we want to get all this uh, done and the last entry should be the actual ESN of the device. Uh, once you get that you can click account if you already have your account information entered, it'll already pull that up. If you need to uh, start a new account, you can. Uh, then you go to click Get ID. You'll find uh, your iPhone's information will come up. You'll hit Activate, and then uh, you'll go ahead and allow it to take $100 worth of credits uh, from your account. So we're going into programming right now. You can see the online mode is green, and online and mode are green, and EQF is red. That's how we want it to be. Uh, I clicked read. You want to keep this DFS log open so you can see what it's doing. You can see that it's functioning properly and talking uh, to the device. Basically, this gives us a good template to start from. If you look at preferred settings, you see that the CMA uh, HDR is the preferred mode. Uh, you want that to be automatic, but I think the activation nag on this device was preventing us from it going into automatic. Um, after we wrote the PRL and all the number programming, got the phone on a Cricket account, I did dial star 228 and the NAG screen went away. It did download a different PRL, so I reloaded the PRL that I wanted to be on the device. Basically, I have a couple of these screenshots on our tutorial, uh, so you can go by that. It's a very good indicator of what your uh, programming should be like. Right now I'm finding the PRL or preferred roaming list that I want on the device because right now uh, it has a Verizon PRL at this time. So I hit load, I get the PRL and I hit write and then you can see the DFS log. It's written the preferred roaming list to the iPhone. And now the uh, mode uh, it's not online anymore. You get the red right there. I did try to reestablish connection by hitting ports again and connecting to the port that this device should be on. If you can't reestablish the connection immediately, you might try placing the device in airplane mode and then taking it off after a few seconds. Um, if you have to, go ahead and reboot the device and reconnect it to DFS. And now you can see at this point we have reestablished our connection. So I have my template here. I'm entering my MIN. That's area code and the rest of it. And the same thing over again in MIN D is in Delta. And right here in MDN I'm entering the MDN, the directory number, or your phone number. And in PCS, I'm entering the same exact thing. I'm changing my SID. You can find a list of SIDs on our forum as well. SID is probably the least of your worries, though. And then I hit write. After attempting to change the preferred mode to automatic. I don't know if this actually stuck at this point, the automatic portion of it. 
in a phone that I had flashed previously. It did not. And that's why, after this wrote, I did do a star 228 after placing the ESN on a valid uh, Cricket account. After that, the preferred mode remained automatic like it should. So for more information, please visit our forum, uh, like our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash cricket users and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to watch the other videos in this series.